At the traffic headquarters Nairobi, four buses belonging to the City to City Company remain impounded three days since the move by the government to halt the operations of the bus company to allow for inspection after one of its buses was involved in an accident on Thursday at Ntulele along the Maimahu Narok Road. The mangled wreckage of a 62-seater bus claiming 42 lives as 30 others sustained serious injuries. They have detained all our buses operating in our primary route of Gariza. Those buses had nothing to do with the incident. Most of those buses had luggage and parcels and the staffs of our customers. At the time of them being detained, there was no incident. They had not committed any traffic offense. And the drivers in those buses, now I must also say, have been arrested for no offense at all. This as one of the directors of the city to city bus company remains in police custody. What has since seen the management of the bus company protest a move they term as punitive, faulting the government for singling out the bus company. On speaking with the commandant, Mr. Kimaru, he has told me that he will not, and I repeat, he will not release the director, Mr. Noor, until he produces the driver of the bus. We are going to take them to court. And uh, when we finalize with their co uh, the, 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 our case, we release their vehicles to go and repair and bring back for re inspection for further uh, uh, action. The police maintain that the burden of proof lies with the management of the bus company, claiming that the director in police custody has reportedly not been forthcoming in producing a TLB license. And we ask him a simple question. Give us the, the TLB uh, document showing that you are authorized to, to use that route from Nairobi to Omabe. Uh, he did not produce any document. And what he was telling us is in the office, we gave him time to go and look for them. Nothing came up. They do have the TLB licenses. We can prove that. The incident has since triggered a proposal to ban night travel in public service vehicles as the driver of the ill-fated bus is said to be in hiding. We are looking for uh, Steve uh, Sola. Uh, Mutia to come out. We have his, uh, the number of his ID. And even this person has a, uh, some previous uh, accident records. The Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, has now warned motorists over speeding that they are liable to a fine not exceeding 100,000 shillings or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or both. Holding that passengers who board an overloaded vehicle will equally be charged because the law deems them culpable as well, adding that their safety is in their hands. Salim Bilu, Sunday Live.